Welcome to our segment on group channels. Group channels are used to group outputs of different tracks to a single output. For example, if you have background vocals on a few tracks and you want to control volume on all of these tracks from a single point, this is when a group channel becomes really handy. Let's start by creating a group channel. Cubase lets you do this in a few different ways. Select Project, Add Track, Group Channel, or right click on the Tracks list area in your project window and add Group Channel Track. You can also right click on your mixer window. Or select Devices, VST Connections, Add Group. Choose the appropriate configuration and click OK. Be sure to rename your group track so that you can identify it easily later on. I'm going to name mine G Vocal. And I'm going to route the outputs of these four channels to my group channel. Let's open the mixer, extend input output, and first we route these three audio channels to our group channel. Right here I have the MIDI track with the loaded vocal sound bank. You can't route output of a MIDI track to a group channel because the MIDI track itself doesn't generate a sound. However, what we can do is route the output of the VST instrument which the MIDI track is using to generate the sound. Now the volume fader of the group channel works like a master volume fader for all our background vocals. You can also add effects to an entire group by using the inserts of your group channel. Adjust the EQ. And add automation. However, you're still able to work with each track individually. And this concludes our segment on the group channel.